But I love my haters. I'ma keep being me until the end of me Cause can't nobody do me better than me Ambition in my heart and fire in my eyes And no whole grip What's going on y'all? It's your boy Vibino And welcome to the Late Bloomers Podcast I got my boys with me Hey what's good man? It's your boy Richie Pancho Hey what's up y'all? It's King Lead 4 And you know it's motherfucker <laughs> Jake to the breezy Alright so we uh, have been arguing about this double XL covers over the last few years. Uh, we're going to talk about the ones from 2009 all the way up to, I'd say, 2016, 2015, guys. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I call that, well, a lot of these rappers that came out during that time, I call it the Drake era slash new golden age of hip-hop. Because at that time, Drake was just on top and everybody else kind of followed and they went on tour with him. So I just want to know, and, well, plah, I just want to know out of all those rappers, that has success over the last, it's been almost 10 years, right? About 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. Eight, nine, 10 years. Who has been your favorite success story since that time? Because to me personally, it's been hard. I'm gonna say Nifty Hustle. He's been one of my favorites. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know if y'all heard that new Victory Lap though. Y'all heard that Victory Lap yet? No. 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 <laughs> that Victory, no, that Victory Lap will go hard, yo. Now, I'm not the biggest Nifty Hustle fan. I'm not. I'm not a big fan, but that album itself, just listening to it, you can just hear how much he's been through the last years of his life, rapping with these, you know, with Wiz Khalifa, uh, J. Cole, well, no, I think he rapped with J. Cole, I don't think he did a song with J. Cole, but like, Rick Ross and all of them, like, Nipsey Hussle has been hustling for a minute, and to see him where he's at right now, he's probably been my favorite success story, I don't know about you, I mean, there's been others, but how about you guys, how y'all, how y'all feel about that? I can't agree. Nipsey Hussle. Okay. Not, well, I'm, like I said, that's 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 that's, 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 that's your opinion, but I feel like Nipsey is the one. Man, I feel like Nipsey. I mean, there's a lot of success stories I like, but Nipsey, man, there's it's, a lot of them. But the ones uh, you, you, just, bo- about, you just overstep so many success stories, like. But you don't so think Nipsey dog Nipsey no. yeah. dog Nipsey album Victory Lap? After ten years, he finally came out with an album. That album went hard. What did you just say? After what? After ten years. Okay. I thought I was gonna say there's a lot of rappers. After 10 years, they've been successful. So, who's your favorite then? My favorite would be Meek Mill. And that's okay. a simple fact. Because Meek Mill came from the dirt. Like, literally. That's where he came from. It, the Philly, what? No, Philly. Every, he doesn't change up on nobody. Everything is about Philly, where he came from, and what who he is as a person. And then, on top of that, he's a beef with some of the biggest artists. Yeah, he took a couple of L's, but at the end of the day, his name is still relevant yeah. for the simple fact of who he beat with. And also, because of how he raps. Like, he's... His lyrical wise, his his storytelling wise, he got it. Like, I don't care what nobody else say. I like Meek Mill. I I, I'm not I'm not trying to talk bad about him because you know he gets a little sensitive about that type of stuff. So Meek, <laughs> I fuck with you. But in my opinion, I feel like Meek is uh, I like Meek. I like when he first came out with his mixtapes. But album wise, uh, he's kind of. None of his feel, albums have ever flopped. Not one. There's not one. It's album not about flopping. I just flopped. could not listen to a whole Meek Mill album. I mean, that's you personally. I mean, I just, I like his songs. I feel like Meek Mill makes great songs. Um, I don't know, maybe the mixtapes, I mean, I don't know, maybe his mixtapes were great, but after he comes out with an album, I just don't care anymore. Meek Mill did it by himself. No. Meek Mill, well, they, no, no, he had MMG, he, let's be real. He had Rick, MMG, Rick, but he, no, Rick, you saw how fast he branched off from that, the Dream Chasers? He's he still that. with MMG. What he's are you talking with, no, about? He's not. He yes, he is. Dream Chasers is, is his own. Label. Okay, but he's still he with MMG Dream though. Dream he didn't really do it by himself though. MMG was around for what a year or two, and then he branched off and did Dream Chasers. Okay, yeah. but he's still okay. He but he, off, he, well, you know, well, Meek does have a new right? album coming out though. No, he came off of videos that people were vi- recording of him. Yeah, he went and signed with MMG. Oh. Whatever. But after the motherfuckers, he is on it. He's on his own. He's the fa- he's one of the only people I can say was the fastest off of a lake. One of them. I like In my personal the, opinion. I mean, I agree. I agree. But at the end of the day, I feel like Meek lyrically, he's cool. Album wise, yeah. Mixtapes fire, which is weird. I don't know what's going on. I mean, on I, that. I can give you that. That I can like, give you because his mixtapes be on some shit. Like it'd be having you in a house confused and shit. Like this shit hard. Yeah. And then he come out with an album. It's like his yeah. albums, in my personal opinion, they good, but they it's good. just not yeah. as good as his mixtapes. Sold everywhere. Then it was uh, Dream Chasers two. That shit. No, it was no, no, it was three. No, 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 it was no, no, three or four that came out. No, are you talking about the mixtape? Because it was four for four. That was a mixtape. Dream Chasers. Three was an album. It was an album. No, it wasn't. DJ Three was the um. No, no, his three albums were the uh, Dreams and Nightmares, 
worth more James than money. Dean. Worth worth more than money. Yes. That's with the Nicki Minaj, and then he got a new album that's coming out. Was it next week? I don't he know what's called. He had an album with Rick Ross. <clears throat> yeah. What are you talking about? What album with Rick Ross are you talking about? It was, you, a, it was a mixtape. It was an album. They had an album. Okay. Oh, oh, him and oh, Rick. oh, no. You're talking about the whole MMG album. That's what you're talking about. No, because only him and Rick were on it. See, this is how I know you. No, what are you me. talking this about? <laughs> Have you guys heard about this? Let's be real. Be honest. Have you guys heard I'm about a, this? I am a they they, they am. did songs together. It don't mean they did a whole album together. They have not did a whole album together. They were on songs together. I don't know what. Okay, you, you need like to find out. All right, Robert, it's your turn. What's your What was your favorite success story? Uh, my favorite one, and in my own opinion, I feel like Kendrick Lamar. Like, okay. Kendrick Lamar is yeah. like literally the... He's, he's all around, like, you know, nobody's boxing him in with just the boom bap rap or anything yeah. like that. You know, he, he's making music literally for everybody and everything, rapping about real life shit. He even won a, a, a Pulitzer Prize award, which yeah. is like, who, who, who does shit like that? I, I mean, I, you know, I, I didn't hear no Meek Mill. But you know. How many did you rewind? But you know, like, you just. Yeah, but it's like, the truth though. He, I, I feel like Kendrick has definitely elevated himself from being just a hip hop artist. He's an artist now. Hey, like literally, I think what put Kendrick on the map though was that uh, Grammy, uh, that Grammy performance he did with the Imagine Dragons. I think once he did that, I think it took him to a whole nother level. Like, like he, like he's doing things that like, uh, like his idols would do, like Jay Z and Nas, like. Um, well, not that's so, nah, that's no, only not, but Jay Z, like Jay Z's no. been doing a lot of yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no, no, no. I put Kendrick is in his own class. I don't think bro, he's I can't so say that. different. I can't say that. I, I don't, I, I don't. He's I don't, doing, he's just in the shadow of everybody else. He's doing no, the same shit everybody else. No, no. I feel like he, Kendrick he, is his own man, yo. Kendrick is not. his own. Like Kendrick's his own man. I, I it's like, it's like J Cole. I, like, like, look at J like, Cole. I feel like, I feel like J Cole's Nas. No, in, in my opinion, so, no, no, no. The, J. Cole the way J Cole. That's not, nah, nah. Cole, I, like, if you can I, yeah, I, I can, I can, I can agree with that one. Nah, nah, nah. And the, the reason why I say this, I love J. Cole. J. Cole. I think he's a great rapper, but production-wise, I feel like he's kind of, yeah. He needs to do better on production or choose some better production. Nas does the same thing. Nas is a great rapper, but his production the last few years on albums, he just doesn't. Like his know, his singles I mean, that he does are, are, are a lot more better. I feel. Yeah. Cause like you know he's he's still making albums. He's still, um one of his songs that he made, Adam and Eve. I don't know if y'all heard yeah. that. That that song still pretty go uh, it goes pretty hard, but um, but other than that, like as far as like Kendrick, I feel yeah, like Kendrick he's always. he's on he's on top of the level. Like I can't, yeah, I can't. Matter of fact, I feel like J Cole is better than Kendrick, and that's just how I feel. Like. Uh, I, I mean, can't, bro, I, I, I can't I, give. I, I would say lyrically. Kendrick, I would say lyrically. Kendrick I would say, is just a weird kid who made it. No, 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 no. Listen no. though, no, listen look. He's I, one of those people no. who sat in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on, no, wait, 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 wait. I, actually, I agree before. with that. Actually, I agree. I do feel like J. So, Cole so, is so. a better rapper than Kendrick. Kendrick's a better performer. Yeah, I can. Kendrick's yeah, I can a better that. performer, and, and just, he has hotter songs and hotter albums. J. Cole albums are very no. like, like you know, no. Let's be real. You don't got hotter albums, bro. Who? First of all, not J. enough Cole people has, heard. Hold on. Honestly, <laughs> hold on. Honestly, not enough people heard the Pimp Butterfly. I was actually like one. Of and no, no I just say, I just, I, I just say. There Kendrick, we go. Kendrick albums are better than J. Cole albums. No, it's not. No, it's not. 2014 Forest Hill Drive. No the, features. No. Who what cares about that? Platinum. Just you know because you go by with see, that's what I don't care. No Listen. Feet. Oh my God. Nobody. No features. Just him. No features. Hold on, wait, wait. And what, bro? Who connected oh. anybody like more than J. Cole? Like you can no connect people. to Kendrick. You, can't. you, can't. you, can't. you can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm saying, I just said you can't. What the? It's like, but most um, people connect to J. Cole because like J. Cole, he's the only person that's been true to himself the whole time. So like, it's Kendrick. No, he yes. hasn't. What? Kendrick, what the fuck? Kendrick has changed from. He went from. Kendrick, no, he went from a hood boy. He even said to he changed. A scientist. So has J. Cole. So he, he got he, that long hair with dreads. <laughs> he just grew out his hair. He's and going he back went to his natural person. That's why he's so He was not naturally like that. He was that haircut. He's he he if you If you listen to one of J. Cole's songs, like, J. Cole been true to. He even said he changed. Look, that's how true to himself he been. He said he went from wearing, like, rocking the gold chains to nothing, like, because now he realized it's not that important. Which is fine. Kendrick does the same thing. But listen, hey, he's they better at it. Listen, he makes better music. Oh, no, he make better music. How Kendrick makes better listen, stuff. It's no, better listen. listen. J. Cole does the same it. thing. No. Same pace. Overly production. dedicated. Overly oh, dedicated. That was good. It was good. I liked it. Going from, I mean, going back from that. My favorite is probably going Section 80, that. but I mean, Kendrick is good. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say J. Cole is better than Kendrick. I'm not gonna say I'm, that. no, that's why I disagree. I'm a, Cole. J. Cole, yeah. but if they if were you, to sit in a room right now and make a song, 
whose song gonna be better? Kendrick's. Fuck no. It's Kendrick's gonna be J. Cole strong. is gonna make a better song. J. Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole no, no, has more J. in no, touch. No, no, listen. Kendrick is one of those people he sits behind to try to pull stuff out. That's why he hasn't made a song in so damn long. That he just did the Black Panther soundtrack, which is one of the best soundtracks in you the world. You know how long Black Panther has been out? Don't. All right then. J. J. Cole, Cole has released so much more like than what? Kendrick. And like what? Let me hear how how did he he was more than Kendrick? He they at the same level. No, they're not. Yo, they, come that, on. If, if, this if, is if crazy. anything, they are because listen. The only thing like, I can say about oh them, they both hide in the closet artists. They Yo. sit down and they don't make nothing for a while, make people anticipate, and then when they come out, shit is not even as good as you want it to be. And that's just how I feel. That's a fucking fact. No, first like, of all, first of all, it's nobody to really get you like in touch with like, bro. It's just like if and you that's listen. Oh. Okay, if you listen to his prior like albums, like mixtapes, all that shit. What, what, what was that one? Uh. The sideline story. What's yeah, the sideline. What, what, what's the other one? The pole line. Oh, you, you no, haven't. Oh, fuck. Fr- uh, Friday Night Lights. Friday Night. I'm trying to think of what else. Fuck. You haven't listened to Kendrick Lamar. Are you talking about Born Center? Not Born Center. I didn't like Born Center. That's when I fell off on J Cole. I'm sorry. I was dumb with Born Center. Born you know why? No, no. Listen. Listen. So no, 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 listen. Listen. So, so many bangers. There so was like maybe four bangers. Power trip. Power trip. Okay. Rich niggas. Who, who doesn't relate to rich niggas? I hate rich niggas. Who cares? Y- okay, who, look, who listen, there's so many that? rappers you can relate to. Nigga that's rich. A nigga that's rich gonna say, I you hate can, rich niggas. You yes. Can, you can relate. Because he real. Like, no, you, you can relate to a lot of artists, but it doesn't mean that you're great. J. Cole is so plain, yo. He's the most... Oh, Lane, he's he a yeah. plain rapper. I would say he's I, a nigga that keep it real with himself. So, I would say a, y'all haven't listened to Kendrick right, Lamar EP hey, at hey, all. Hey, <laughs> who show would you go to? J. Co- a J. Cole show or Kendrick show? Kendrick Lamar. Okay. You okay. You. See now, look. I was with Lamar. you with the whole J. Cole thing, and then you said that. Nah, no, 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 no. I went to J. Cole show. Oh, J. Cole going to be going to stand there and be like, you guys. J. Cole shows. I hate money, man. We need to love each other. So slow and like. Ridiculously retarded. Like, but same thing with the albums. His no. albums. Look, no, no disrespect to J Cole. I like J Cole. I don't want J Cole exactly. to change. I'm just, for me personally, I just think J Cole is. He's a good artist. I respect him, but he's so boring because he does the same thing. I know what he's gonna do. He's so predictable. That's His not a music. Fact. It's very predictable. Everybody yes. said he was going to... We're going to get the same plain no, ass beats. Nobody knew he was going to make an album, an album by himself. Nobody knew that. And it's shit, like he said, went platinum. Nobody knew that J. Cole was going to hop on other people's shit. And when does he? Everybody keeps thinking that J. Cole is going to be one of those artists that's going to hop on everybody else's shit once he falls off. But there's, he's never going to fall off. J. Cole been on everybody's song now. He was on um, Young Money, Boy Money. Money Bag Yo. Yeah. Money Bag Yo. He just did a song with... Um, I mean, he just started doing that, though. He, he, because, recently, again, he even said that he was inspired by Kendrick. He said it. Literally. He literally he said, said I saw I saw a Kendrick Lamar. I saw a like Kendrick Lamar. Lamar. Personal opinion is better uh, than Jay-Z. I what? saw a, What? What? You heard what the fuck I said? Kendrick is better than Jay-Z. Jay-Z can't rap worth shit. He's a, he talks. And I have to. Song. I would slightly he, agree with you on that. It's kind of hard. Jay Z is fucking washed up. Like I mean, he, like, I mean, he can't if, put him in the show. If Jay Z dropped the album, who gonna listen to it? Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna listen to it. You gonna listen? I to agree. It? I think. I would say. I would say. I can't people, agree with that because every oh, Jay Z came bro. out with um. Fuck is it? The uh, Mac, the, the, the Mac Greek Mac. The um one word. Fuck, I can't remember the name of the album. But it was um, the Black Album. The yeah, I think it's Black Album. No, no, no. Black Album. It I like American Black Gangster. Album. It came out like last, uh, no, two years ago. See, that's oh, the I, the four four four. That's the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, four four four. Sold the fuck out everywhere, yeah. like just because of his name, bro. That yeah. nigga Jay Z. That's how irrelevant this man is. I didn't even know this shit existed. So that's just you didn't know four four four. Shut the hell up. You lie like hell now. All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. We're getting off top a little bit though. But so, maybe, out but, of all this, hold on, hold on, we're, we're, we're going to have another conversation about that later. Okay, so, out of everybody from 2009, who was the best J. Cole. rapper? So, J. You, so, you like, so, you think J. Cole, why? His success story was actually crazy. One, he stayed true to himself, like, right, he wouldn't, honestly, personally relate to him a lot, because, like, I mean, you grew up in, like, a, a poor environment, you grew up in, like, the hood, and, like, he wasn't really, like, into that shit, like, he, right. he wasn't really into it, so I, I could kind of relate to that, like, he, like, kind of speaks to me in his songs type shit, when he's talking yeah. about, like, Rich niggas, we talk about like bitching and shit, like how they just like they just want you for the fame, like they just want like who next type shit, like. Right. But I can relate to most of the shit he say, and then his songs, the work he put in, like just like by himself type shit, like just in a room, just like creating shit, like he one of the most creative artists, like you can't even lie, like he's probably one of the most creative artists like in the game right now. I can agree with you, but his like, creativity is very boring. That's what I'm saying. So like, all right, it's like, very simple. Me, you, and this other guy can do the same thing J Cole can. We I mean, can't. Think about his it. his production not. is so you very. Bl- you don't have the same stories. You, 
I'm not talking about story. Man, come on now. Anybody can tell a story, but and nobody. But it's very bland, though. But nobody's gonna tell the truth. His, I'm, his I'm tired of hearing about I'm from here, I'm from here, I'm from here, yeah. and I shoot niggas, I do this, and I do that. When you really don't, J, but it, but J. Cole has bland, took you through his whole lifestyle. It's boring same because thing. he's not shit. It's boring. No, no, no. Listen, listen. It's I, boring because he's not making shit up. No, That's what's so no, boring no, no, about no, no, it. No, no, no. It's not what he's saying. If I it's, make some shit up, no, it's listen. gonna sound fun. To, all right. Okay, so, look. This is so, the reason why. I'm like, again, we're okay. gonna go back. The I only see, reason why I do not like J Cole. I, I don't. Want, J Cole to me is very relatable. I totally agree. I don't want J Cole to change. If people like listening to J Cole, maybe this. Maybe there's actually hope for this world and people like J. Cole and he's winning. We need him to win. The only problem I have, which is the reason why I do not listen to him no more, is because his production is very boring. His first album was my favorite album because it, it had everything, great production and all that. But when he did that Born Center, actually, look, this is probably my first time ever waking up early in the morning. Went to Best Buy, Hold up. bought Born Center, played that motherfucker. I was like, oh, this shit, it started off great. I was like, oh, this going to be fire. And then, of course, he goes back to that. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me talk to the people real quick. some Maybach stuff. And after like five songs, you finally get, um, what's that damn song? Uh, she, uh, she knows. I was like, okay, we back. And then we're going back to me and my bitch. Took a little trip. Course, That's one of the best songs on that album. And I'm like, period. And, and the sad bitches part is, I should have brought hey, the... bitches, come in, go, you <laughs> know no, it. It's <laughs> cool and everything, that's but... Don't no, shit like... Wait, that's no, no. the real okay, shit. Okay, okay. Okay, hold That's up. That's understandable. I'm not. But hey, let me, take, let me just talk to the and, people real quick. Cool. I'm not being biased because one, Kendrick is actually one of my favorite rappers. Honestly, Good Kid, Mad City, one of the best albums. But J Cole is like, all you of can't. His albums, like, all of Kendrick albums is like literally the shit. Like yeah. in the whole fucking and Good no, Kid, Mad no, City. No, no, if you talk, listen to that, from talk beginning it, to oh, it, bro, if you listen to that shit, from not, beginning to people, end. People did not like to film buff. Who the fuck? Who Whoa. Like oh, no, I don't know. Okay, no, I agree. Do you like this? Okay, listen, you like this? Listen, nobody listen. Like you. you don't understand. Nobody yeah, yeah I, I do agree. I said that earlier. Pimple Butterfly, you, listen. If you would have listened to what I said earlier on this podcast, you would have heard I said this. No, I, I agree with you. Pimple Butterfly was very, it was okay. It wasn't okay, you gotta, you gotta, no, uh, you gotta listen to the was, message. Was, you gotta listen to the message you know, within the song. You I know, gotta, you I, would rather listen I know the message. That, I like it. I like that. Listen to Born Center or Forest Hill, 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 Hill Drive. I would rather listen to that because Forest Hill Drive. Listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. No, Kendrick. Hold on. Listen, listen. What I'm saying. Okay, listen. What I'm saying. What I like about Kendrick is I don't know what he. I don't like. I don't know what he's gonna do next. His music's always changing. You they have to change the them. No, it's not. Yes, it I know what I'm going to get. Just the same pace production. That's how I know you don't listen to what he's saying. I know. No, it's, no, not about, no, it's not right. always about, about that. Saying. It's not always about when, that. When there's so that. many good rappers when, that, no. there's so many rappers that you can right, relate so when to. Kendrick, when Kendrick dropped Damn, all right. When Kendrick dropped Damn, like that shit went hot. Oh. Like the, the song Duckworth, the last song, his last name Man, is on that fucking song. Talked about what his parents did. What his parents went through, what he was brought up yeah. to, what could have happened if shit went wrong. But he met Top Dog. That yeah. nigga took him out of the hood, made him got you know got music, getting all types of shit uh, done. But like as far as like I can, I like I like uh, J Cole, but I, I say like Ken, Kendrick is just like yeah, I feel like, like the shit right now. Like yeah. even listen to the heart part one, two, three, and four. Yeah, niggas cannot box him in at all. Nobody cannot uh, box him in of okay, I mean, anything. I, uh, I would say the only person that did get boxed in was Joey Badass, and he tried to get out. Joey Badass yeah, Joey Badass was, was trash. Well, no, 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 he's not trash. I just think that. Eh, I mean, you know. I feel like he's a. He's, yeah. he's not, he's like, like not every about. rapper. Like, like, like. He's not me. relevant enough for me to talk about. Like, That's like how I feel. another rapper that I feel. Well, I want more success for him. For who? For Big Craig. I want more success for him. He's some trash dude. Nah, that dude, he deserves it. Out, he of, all the five, all, out of all the rappers, I'm kind of mad that he didn't get that success. I feel he like sucked. he really pulled that southern First rapping off, yeah. style. First like, off, I really, this nigga's name is Big Craig. What? I like Big Craig, man. I like him from the South. Yeah, one of my yeah, fa- yeah because he's really... He's one of my favorite South rappers. Bro. Yeah, like well, new. It's just because I'm not a South nigga. I, uh, true. I hate Big Craig. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm trying to think of somebody else. I'm going like I'm I'm to say Wiz Khalifa. He deserves to be up there as successful. Who deserves to be Okay. Yes, he. At his success? No, no. I'm talking about just being successful. Yeah, just, yes. Yeah, yes. He deserves a lot more respect. Than no, what he got. no, no. I respect him, but I'm talking about successful people. We're not talking yeah, he about. Le- he deserves a lot more success too. He deserves it, but Honestly, he's not successful. Let's just be real. I like Pat Boots. I respect him. What we're talking about? What, is what, who what, deserves what, it? What was Wiz his album? Khalifa, what was the Pat Boots album that Wiz, came out? What has Wiz Khalifa done? 
Please, he had. Oh my God, Wiz Khalifa. Don't get me wrong. Mixed tapes, albums. Yeah, yeah, I, like, Apple, I like I'm looking he at just success. Smokes on albums. No, no, listen, listen. I'm not saying people. that Wiz Khalifa is better than Papoose. I'm not saying that. Exactly. Lil Wayne. They just talk, bro. Listen, listen. But Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne, no, listen. Lil Wayne, he. Let's talk about who influenced the culture, man. Well, hold on. Anyway, but I'm gonna say Wiz Khalifa. I'm gonna say who else? Okay, but Pat Poos was not 2009, was he? Okay. Uh, the he point was, he was there. When was Wiz Khalifa? He was about 2010, 2011. Okay, well, who that was, was there it. first? Pat Poos or Wiz Khalifa? Okay, but we're talking about rap. We already know Pat Poos. I'm talking about rappers from 2009 to about 2016. Hey, low-key, y'all sleep on Isaiah Rashad. I don't even know yeah, that shit. Yeah, 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 his, yeah, he was cool. Yeah, I like him, man. He's I so think, irrelevant, I don't even know that name. Yeah. Isaiah. He, he, um... I don't even know. Damn. I mean, I don't know too many songs with him. He went, he went to Kendrick Lamar. Cool. Yeah, he was. That's he crazy. went to, with, with his all, the, the, the Sons Tyrate. If you ever listen to the album, that shit go hard as fuck. It's crazy. Or uh, Sylvia's uh, demo. Yeah, that shit yeah, go hard. As what? Crazy. I'm trying to think of somebody hey, else. Bro, 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 I think Kid Cudi deserves more. Kid Cudi definitely. Def, 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 yo, he was on that demo. Yo, God. I don't make it. I like his all his albums, yo. You know, he made like three. They, he made three albums, right? He made um. Something he, he made a lot more. He, he made but his more. song rise, insurrection, uh, like the wizard. way he like produced his Yo. shit, like his production skills are fucking the moon, the, the fucking stupid. Kid Cudi um going to the moon or whatever. Man, yeah. that whole album was just and then trippy, he, yo. it's crazy because he really put all these other niggas like. I don't even want to get into this shit right now, but moon. he put everybody else on like Yo, he that put Kanye on. Cut. Like, no, 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 put, no, 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 Kanye put Kid Cudi on. This yeah, he did. No, yeah, he did. No, 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 Kanye was already no, messed. No, Kanye put no, a lot down. Kanye even gave him credit. Kanye even said, yeah. all right, so he started. Okay, yeah, yeah, but just because a nigga it. give you credit don't mean that, you know, you should. Yeah, but he yeah, did. Kanye, he, Kanye so he did find Kid Cudi. I know, on, I'm saying. He put Kid, I'm pretty sure Kanye actually took stuff from Kid Cudi. Yeah, Kid Cudi put him on the sound. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's which is saying. fine, but it, he didn't make Kanye. Yeah, Kanye's yeah. always. No, but he put, like, his gorgeous, like, the album Gorgeous. Or, not, um, what's that album called? With the, um, Dark Truth of Fantasy? Yeah. Or so like that, that song Gorgeous and all the other songs on there. Even, even, uh, 808s and Heartbreaks. Yeah. He was like all those new sounds that that uh, Kanye was making, like that's pretty much from Kid Cudi. Even though Kanye is like one of the, like you know back in the day he's like the hardest fucking producer out there, you know Kid Cudi actually still put that put that shit on. And then you know when time came, fucking Travis Scott came out too as well yeah. with his own sound, you know La Flame, and then and yeah, Kanye into, influenced a lot of people, man. I mean you yeah, gotta you gotta agree. I like Kid Cudi, but Kanye. I mean, Kid Cudi influenced Kanye to do that sound, but Kanye brought in a lot of people. He brought in Kid Cudi. I wouldn't know who Kid Cudi was without Kanye. Um, dang. Yeah, his, his backstory is. is really I'm trying rough. to think. Of, oh, excel, man, I can't think. I mean, you talking well, about 2013. Well, well, I mean, well, you did say Ace Hood. Ace, Ace Hood. Is raw. He yeah, Ace, Ace, Ace Hood definitely deserves more. more. I'm proud of him shit. right now, but at the same time, I wish people would do more for him. Ace Hood is like that. I just feel like Ace Hood. He's just one of those niggas who. He, he can spit, man. He doesn't know how to get out of his ways. That's what his problem is. He got real soft. He mm-hmm. started off hard. He came out. He came out the game. No, he jumped into the game hard as shit. Everybody respected him. I mean, his, his best song making, was Hustle Hard. He that. What? His best song was Hustle Hard, yo. Yeah. That, no, actually, no. I can't even say that. Hustle Hard. Because there's songs that after people heard Hustle Hard, they want to listen to shit else he had. Because <laughs> there's so much more shit that he had. He's one of those rappers. That's, but but not everybody can have star power. Yeah, like, that's what I'm not saying. everybody. But his name doesn't ring bells like most people do. And that's why people stop listening to him. Like, there's a lot of shit that him, he has underground that is hard as fuck. Like Kendrick, y'all kept saying. Mm-hmm. That just, Kendrick, bullshit you not, has a whole bunch of shit that niggas have never heard of. There's a lot of rappers. Black rappers have heard. It. Like, that's probably hard as shit. If you ever, have you listened to Untitled? Yeah. All those, I'm like, you listen to Untitled? Like Ace Hood, um, my favorite song by him is Letter to My Exes. And that shit is the softest shit ever. He talks about all the girls that has ever done it wrong, and that's what dropped them off because he started off. Now, I don't think it's that. My nah. thing is, if you come to the game as a motherfucking thug and that's all you are, nothing that can hurt you, nothing can drop you off, for you to start making soft ass shit, just you fucked up on Nah, your I don't think it was that. Thing. I just think people just didn't want to fuck with I think people, they, they, it's different for me. I feel like people fuck with you, they fuck with you. There's no, I mean, unless you did something so bad in your career that people don't want to fuck with you no more, but sometimes shit happens. Everybody can't be hot. He didn't know what to come out with. And that's what it is. No, it's not that. He, he had hot singles. It's just people didn't care. The singles were bigger than him. That's a fact. That's that's all it was. Sometimes that happens. I can't, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I like Ace Hood, but I just wish he would, I just wish people would listen to him more. You know um, who I do wish that they would listen to? Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q, yo. Even though that yeah. is a crib, man, I don't like him. But 
His music was. I do. Fucking, uh, I fuck with his shit. Hey, man, that nigga Trinidad James was a fucking bust. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Roscoe Dash was a fucking bust. <laughs> I all know and everything. No, Roscoe Dash was hard, yo. No. Until he like, liked right. bust. Like, I like Roscoe Dash. Everybody was on Roscoe Dash when I, I was I cool. Like him, and then he fucked up. I don't know what happened. He's just, right. Not, I just think people just got tired of him. Yeah, I, feel I mean, like, I uh, guess that's just that phase people go through and shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, nobody yeah. gave, I don't, like, even though Logic, nobody gave him as much credit as he uh, has been Logic? Right. Yeah, like, all right. I, I, Logic I see is cold as fuck. That's crazy because he wrote, like, like. Have you ever heard that, uh, what's that shit? Uh, the one he's, like, in, like, a spaceship or some shit. Man, I don't know, man. I don't he, he has a, I'm beyond you. I'm like, like, his, his like newest that. one, I Young really Sinatra 4. Yeah. He he made that album with uh, Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah. But at the same, I don't know. I've just never been a Logic fan. I don't like, know. Like, all right. Why. Even though, like, all right, because uh, he, he would jump into, like, a category of something somewhere, not not by sound, but what he talks about. A jump in a category with, like, Kid Cudi. Because you know how Kid Cudi, he's, like, depressed and that like, his <clears> music <throat> is supposed to be uplifting the people who feel right. you know that type of way that's the same way logic music is but like not too many people are connecting to him like uh like people are connected to kid cuddy or so or the chance or chance, chance yeah, the rapper, like, yeah. Wow, like, see yeah. like yeah i forgot about chance but i never really, see that's another rapper i respect him but i never liked his music like that I mean, chance yeah. i can agree with that i, yeah. like I, never, those, I don't know I what it like is i want to like him he's gonna make it for him, my personal opinion it's yeah. just I don't care for him. Me yeah. personally, but watching him and look, listening to some of his shit yeah. he be talking about, that nigga is actually about his shit. Who? Like if Wait, he, who? Chance the Rapper. Yeah. I feel like he's really about his shit. Like, he, he be spitting some shit sometimes that yeah. like, catches you off guard. But he's going to be one of those, he's going to make it far, but he's falling off for the simple fact he does a bunch of whack-ass shit. Like that Kit Kat commercial, oh my God. That <laughs> shit was so fucking trash. It nah. made me mad. Like they could at least you gonna put him on something, let him do what he wanted. Low key, you have him out here singing like a little bitch. Like come on now. That's Tyler, I'm not gonna yeah, lie to you. Too. I think My Future head. has no ceiling. Like G shit. I feel like Future. Future. I forgot about Future. He has no ceiling. Like when will this nigga ever stop being hot? I Bang think on top of they, I, I, who gonna start listening to Future? I feel like the internet like, has saved crazy. him. Like, I feel like I feel like the internet is saving him because now we live in a world now where you can keep his life. Nah, not even, no, no, it's not even the memes. I, I just know. think that he just makes hot songs. He's making like hot songs. He's good. Yeah, for real, every time it's a banger. Like, yeah, I be, hey, I be wanting hey, to Metro, too. Him yeah. and Metro Boomin stay cooking some shit. Yeah. I can't, I can't agree with that. I feel like everything he come out with only people, only people, people like it because of the beats. That nigga can't rap for shit. Yeah. I don't care. No, but I don't care about that. I like, I like the way he does his shit. Like, hey, him and his French. Beats, his beats are hard. Oh my god, French his yeah. beats are hard. French Montana is trash. God, that dude. Who likes French Montana? I'm gonna say this. He's really like. He's really good at um. He's really good at picking songs. I feel who first my tell first, like, like, like 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 first knows how to get on a hot song. He don't. No one cares yeah. about him, but he knows how to get a good like beat on, and get a couple rappers. Like, he is DJ Khaled, but he can rap, rap better yeah. than DJ Khaled. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean I DJ Khaled, all he does is just put like. He just puts name hot in. ass artists on stuff. So does Frick Montana. Frick Montana knows name. how to get with the hot artists. And hey, you know, name like, on like, right, what's like, that one song that he cool. made? Um, but I, but he's like, successful though. Taking over. Uh, we taking over one city. Yeah, yeah that, that was song. good. That, 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 that hard, really though. like blew it up for, for DJ Khaled. Man, no, like, no, little Wayne. No, that blew up for little Wayne. I am but for, I mean, BB rappers. Oh my God, yo, yeah. Wayne didn't even cuss yeah. on that dude. Damn man, that was like, the best man. Like, all right, I say that was, that was like one of the hottest shit going on. Yeah, right they, that was his hottest song. Yo. My man. favorite thing that he was on, in my personal opinion, is the shit where he hopped on with Sway Lee. Not enough. Wait, oh that yeah, that shit was hard. That shit was. That's the. That's like the only song I can say I actually sat there and listened listen to French Montana's part because that nigga sucks in my personal opinion. I know. I know we, but He's but yeah, but but French knows that. French ain't trying to be. French ain't going out and say I'm the best rapper. He yeah. knows that he a hustler. Yeah. French Montana is a hustler, is. yo. I feel like if we talk about rappers who made it like that way, yeah, I can say French. He's one of them. Yeah, he's but still on the top game. right now. DJ DJ Khaled doing this shit. DJ nah, it, his last song DJ he got with is on, Everything that nigga is on is fucking a banger. The man, every number Snapchat. Man. Bro, <laughs> went to Snapchat is, headquarters. Facts, right? <laughs> he's on. He's some part of Snapchat. Snapchat. At, when Snapchat first came out, Snapchat promised itself that it would not fuck with nobody. Like it wasn't signing anybody to it. It wasn't going to come out with all the shit it came out with. One of the first rappers up there controlling shit in the headquarters like this nigga just said is DJ Khaled. Nobody else can say that. Yeah, nobody else. DJ Khaled is fucking running shit. Now he had a son. After he had a son, that nigga Man. became even bigger. And his son has a name, and that's it. 
His son has no fame besides the fact that he's a chubby ass little boy and he has a name. And DJ Khaled is on every fucking thing. There's nothing you can find. Yeah, he made that his DJ son Khaled famous before yeah. he even knew like what's going on. Exactly. That nigga is more famous than anybody else. He's more famous than Meek Mill right now. I ain't gonna bullshit. Yeah, boy, everybody, man. everybody know DJ Khaled's son. But hey, let me just talk to somebody real quick. Cool. Hey, Kirk Cobain, you fucking disappointed me. <laughs> but okay, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, wait a minute, wait. Kirk Cobain, he's like, a trash yeah, dude. Yeah, he's a yeah, I, 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 day, I like mean, that drinking my cup shit. Like I was on that shit. Like what's that other song he made? Like fuck. I was on that shit hard. Yeah, that, but I was on the And song. then you just made two songs, and then you just like you was all fucked up. All right, that's actually another topic. I'm, we're gonna do a little part two of that. This has been a little bit longer than I thought it would be. But last thoughts, last thoughts. Out of all the rappers, I'm gonna ask one more time. And everybody, who was your favorite success story though? We talked about Wiz Khalifa, we talked about Kendrick, we talked about J. Cole, well, we I'm, talked about uh, who else we talked about? If we're about? not gonna uh, talk Hood. about mainstream, and we're gonna It don't have to be mainstream, but it has to be from 2009. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. When we're talking about 2009 up, in my personal opinion, I'm going with Lil Hurt. He was a little underground hurt. rapper for a long ass time. He wasn't getting no fame because he was stuck under Chief Keef, Lil Dirk. Greasy and all of them. That's and then true. when he actually was like, yo, you know what? Fuck that. I'm better than these niggas. He's out here doing his own yeah, thing. I he's, agree. He came from like the, the hardest part of the hood you could possibly come from, in my personal opinion. And now he's realized not only is he better than the niggas who he's running with, he's actually making it out of there instead of staying in there like Chief Keep. Always getting shot at, always being in the hood. Yeah. Beefing with niggas like Sam. He's a better rapper too. For no, and yeah, and he's a better rapper, in my personal opinion. So it's just like, it makes no sense for anybody else. On that double XL during his time, yeah. in my personal opinion, he's the best story wise for me at yeah. this current at this current moment in time. Yeah, that's, in my personal opinion. All right, Robert, man, who you got? Who you got? Well, other than uh, other than um, you know, like you said, mainstream. Like these are all these good rappers, but like I probably go with um, Kid Cudi as my second choice, even though you know he he he's been up there, but it's just like he, he had a hard background, you know, from depression and you know his you know, where his family came from and then um, being as far as like not having a, a stable life thinking about you know suicide and all that stuff and still you know being depressed even though he got fans and friends and family around him but he he's not doing it only for him he's, he's he realized that there's other people out there that just like him and uh, you know he want to make it you want to make it possible saying hey anybody can you know any everybody's going through the same thing you know, it's not it's not bad. I'm going through it, even though I'm famous. You know, just you just got to keep pushing through it, cause uh, you know, you know, shit gets hard. So I say, Kid Cudi for me. Nah, I do. I'm a little key gonna say Kodak Black like, as my second choice, cause okay. honestly, he could have signed with a big label if he really wanted to, cause when he dropped that No Flock and shit, he kind of like blew up. He kind of blew up, and then Drake was on his dick trying to get him to probably join OVO or whatever the fuck, cause. He was like, you know, back when Drake was trying to be like on that vulture shit, like he was trying yeah. to like, Kodak wasn't with that shit. And, I mean, he made his way from like basically the dirt. Like he was just, he went from looting and shit to now he rapping and shit in, in, in the fucking suburban area and shit, acting white. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically that one. Nah, he's still getting in trouble though. Kodak's black. Yeah, he's still getting in trouble. Yeah, he's still getting in trouble, yeah, but, getting in trouble, but, but yeah, but it's not as bad. Yeah. yeah, he's doing way better. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stick with the. Nipsey Hustle, man. I'm sticking with him, man. I'm, 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 and you know, again, the guy, um, he's actually out here helping the hood, in my opinion. He's really, he's no, 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 no. He's, he's actually help, helping the hood. He's actually out here, you know, putting where, uh, man, putting that his nigga money was out there. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> listen. listen. If you look story. at his career, you know what I'm saying? He he started he's, from just selling his selling shirts with his brother and. and Game banging to rapping, He's and trust me, there was a lot of rappers that he was around, like Wiz and all of them. They all blew up before him. So right now, that. yeah, they they blew up before him. Nissy wasn't popping. Nissy had, I, don't know. I Nissy mean, Nissy was, was no, no. He was popping before Wiz. No, no, no. Wiz came out with black and yellow, and that was it. No, Wiz. That, 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 that song, that song kind of put him put him up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it put him up there. But but up. Nipsey never had like a hit record or anything. He still hasn't had a hit record yet. I mean, but if you think about the album, but look, but listen, if you listen to Victory Lab and look at the last. Eight nine years, he's been in the game with all the WXL guys and all you know all the rappers. You know, for him to make an incredible album and what he's been through and what he does for his city, you got to give him respect, man. I mean, he's I, come a long I way. I give him some respect. You got you got to give him respect. I'm not saying he's the best rapper. I just like his career and what. And, and Only thing I'm coming. giving him is that he's a crit. Yeah, he got on with YG. 
and I fucks with that. Which I forgot about YG gave, too. YG they gave like, back to the hood. Like if I don't pick Lil Herb, I'm picking YG. Because YG really been through some shit. Like, okay. But and he's white now. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. He may still be a gangbanger from the hood. And he, every day, I feel like he's doing more for the hood than Nipsey is. No, you're out of your mind. No, no Nipsey does a lot for the hood. But anyway, uh, still let us know in the comment section below what double XL rapper from 2009 even to now was your favorite success story. Um, also, let us know in the comment section below if we're doing good with the podcast. And uh, yeah, man, it's your boy Rubino. It's your boy Richie Pancho. Yo, King Lee, we out. And you already know, it's motherfucker Jake to the breezy. See you next time, feel me? Peace out. One. All right.